Hello and welcome, I'm Sim UK, and it is my goal to provide to you the most honest, fact-based, critical reviews on YouTube. If you find this review helpful, then please hit that like button, subscribe, and help to support the channel by donating via the links below. Thank you so much, and enjoy the review. Snowtopia from T for Two, which is a really good, solid British name for a French company, is a super relaxed, casual ski resort management title that requires you to plan, build and maintain your resort whilst encouraging new and repeat visitors by accurately identifying then providing each group of skiers preferences without forgoing safety or destroying the natural beauty of the mountain. Sound interesting? Good because it really is. Snowtopia releases today and is currently in early access, which means that you can and will likely see a few small bugs as you play. On my GTX 1080 Ti, I managed about 1,000 visitors before I noticed any frame drop at all. But certainly at that point, things did hit quite a lull. Certainly, some performance tweaking is still required at the busier end of this game. That being said, this early access title will keep you occupied and playing quite happily for hours on end. And that's just on the first map. There are currently seven maps that you can choose from, each with varying levels of complexity, and in the future I understand that modding is likely to be a thing. Now I don't have details on that yet, but extra maps and objects and equipment are hopefully the kind of thing that you're going to be able to find available via community mods. And even if that wasn't the case, the feel-good factor that Snowtopia already delivers, even on just a single map, is probably going to be enough to keep you playing for hours at a time anyway. So Snowtopia starts you off with a starting location and from there you take over and create all of the pistes. Now piste creation might at first seem like a very simple process but actually there's quite a lot more to think about than you might first imagine. Let's say, for example, you need to logically group and connect each of them whilst managing and maintaining demand. Your engineers, your snowplows and your experienced support staff will all need to be factored in as well. And the further away that they are based, the longer it will take for them to reach their objective. But you can't just plonk anything anywhere because that will upset the balance of the natural beauty of the mountain. It's a pretty complex balancing act at the end of the day. This poly-based management title has some really unique ways that make it stand out from the competition. The most notable for me is the piste creation itself, which accurately utilises the contours of the land in order to provide you instant feedback regarding the perceived level of complexity for each section of your piste. Your employees are all volunteers. Basically, these are impressed visitors who have then returned to offer their time for free, which means there's no employment, no wages, and actually no profits or money in any way, shape or form for you to worry about. Everything in Snowtopia is completely free and only restricted by the notion that a ski resort that delivers a high level of quality will ultimately encourage more volunteers and by proxy, more visitors, and that is how Snowtopia evolves. Kind of the snowball effect, if you will. At first, I really felt like the need for a monetized value system was going to be too much for me to take. There needed to be something there for it all to make sense. But ultimately, and surprisingly for me, not having to worry about the finances at all really frees you up to create at your leisure. Get something wrong or just don't like the way it looks, you can just tear it all up, tear it all down and start again. And that's kind of refreshing, actually. As you progress and expand your resort, additional entrance points will be made available to you. 
This will help you to better separate novice from experienced skiers. At the very core of Snowtopia is the Research Centre, where you will unlock upgrades and new facility items in order to improve various aspects of the resort. 12-man gondolas, GPS location systems, and numerous food and beverage facilities, plus upgrades and options galore. I played for hours, and I enjoyed myself throughout, even when all of my beginner slopes were in such bad repair that they changed from being green, which is the easiest difficulty for piste skiing, to black, which is effectively lethal piste skiing. And as a result of that, I had hundreds, literally hundreds, of injured skiers strewn about all over the place. It was so bad and so out of control that I had to shut down every single piste so that I could repair them and let people go back up. I only stopped playing this game after I reached about a thousand visitors and the FPS dropped so badly that it got to a point where it became actually unplayable. And honestly, this is the only serious area that needs addressing in this game. In addition, I would like to see more research options in the future, some additional menu options like the ability to filter and order by. But as this is in early access, it's already screaming high polish and high quality levels. And for me, the fun factor has to be its defining feature. If you'd like to see some gameplay footage of Snowtopia, then please do feel free to check out Sim UK Strategy, where you can watch some gameplay. And I thank you so much for watching. I hope this review has been helpful for you. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time, take care. Goodbye for now.